What's up guys, Fanny Jesse here and today I am doing my um San Japan haul. If you watched my San Japan vlog, I told you that and I told you really fast at the end because my battery was dying that I would be doing a haul of everything I got at San Japan once I got home. Well, I actually just got home today, the day I'm filming this. Probably not the day this is coming up, but the day I'm filming this, I actually just got home. So now I'm filming my haul and I'll show you guys everything that I got. So first I wanted to show you the passes from this year. I pre-registered, so I got the pre-reg pass, and I got Panda Josie, my YouTube, put on there. I got this cute little Sans charm from one of the artist panels. I wish I had gotten their names, but I didn't. I totally forgot to get their names, but th this charm is adorable, and I wish I could get more. I just don't remember who I bought it from. I also got this little Tails charm, also from a an artist that I don't remember the name of and I feel really bad but this is really cute and like if you flip it over <laughs> it's so cute and I love it and I'm so happy that I bought it I got Zuko, CL, Natsu, Toru, and Junkrat on this side and then on this side I have Lemon Grab, Sebastian, Lucy, Kyo, and May. And then my friend bought me this one, which I'm really happy about. It's Robert, and I'm obsessed with it because Robert is the best dad, and I don't care what anyone else says, Robert is best dad. <laughs> the next thing I want to show you is the shirt that I got this year for the San Japan official shirt. Uh, they actually had a few shirts to choose from this year, and this is the one that I chose. Um, it's not really showing very well, but this is the one that I chose. It's really pretty and really cool. I really love the design of it, and I just I just think it's awesome. And I'm so glad that I chose this one. The next thing I want to show you, I got from the artist panels as well, which I don't remember the artist. I really wish I had gotten all the names of these artists because they were so amazing. I got this little Snorlax shawl type thing, and it's kind of made out of a fleecy material so that it feels like a onesie when you're wearing it. And it's super cute and super comfy and I am obsessed with it. So this print is actually another thing that I got in one of the artists. And this one I actually got the artist from. The artist was Of Sky Society, which I will write on the video and link down below if I find any links from them because I haven't found any yet. But um, <laughs> I got this Man Junkrat print. I love it so much. I'm so happy with it. It's so gorgeous and so well drawn and they're just extremely talented and I couldn't wait to put it up. So I put it up before filming my haul, sorry, but I just needed this in my apartment because look at it. <laughs> a couple other things I got was I got a couple animes. I got Ghost Hound, which is something that me and my sister actually watched together a few years ago on Netflix. And we actually really liked it. It was pretty it was pretty cool. And like they took it off Netflix and I haven't been able to find it since then. So when I saw this, I was like, I need to get Ghost Town and show it to my sister because we actually, we liked it so much we watched it twice together. Both times we watched the whole series together. And I'm really excited that I found this and I can't wait to watch all of it again. The second anime I got was another, which, um, I'm sorry, please don't hate me. I've actually never watched it. <laughs> But I've heard really good things about it and I love horror. If you know me, you know that I love horror and horror animes are like my favorite thing ever. So I have no idea why I haven't watched this yet because <coughs> it, I've heard really good things about it. I just haven't got around to watching it. So I bought it so that I could. The next, the next few things I'm going to show you were actually from blind boxes. I bought two uh, two big blind boxes. I bought a Steven Universe one and I bought a um, horror one. So this is everything that came in my Steven Universe blind box. The first thing I'm going to show you is this really cute coffee mug that has Steven Star on it, which I think is really, really cute and I'm obsessed with it. If you know me, I collect um, like char character um, Sorry if you hear noises, my cat is playing in boxes right now. 
anyway, if you know me, I collect like character um, mugs and like things from my favorite shows. And so I'm really, really happy that I got this because I love mugs. <laughs> the next thing that I got in my Steven Universe box, let me get that out of the way, are these really cute Steven socks. They're so adorable and I can't wait to wear them. I'm obsessed with them. Oh, oh no, I dropped it. They're so cute and I love them and I'm so happy that they came in my box. The next thing I got was this really cute funky chunky magnet and I love it. It has Steven on it and he's so freaking cute and support savvy. What? He's so cute. The next thing that came in my Steven crate was these four buttons, they're super cute. Oh no, I meant to give two of them to my friend, but I totally forgot. I'll send them to her. Uh, anyway, I got these four buttons. There's one with all the crystal gems on it. And then, if it'll focus. There's one with Steven with Cookie Cat. There's another one with Steven with his belly button out. And then there's this one, which honestly is my favorite because it's super cute. It's the Crying Bark breakfast friends which is so cute and I can't wait to add these to my collection another thing if you know me I collect buttons so I'm super excited to add these another thing that came in my Steven box is a lion piggy bank and it is so cute and I love it and I cannot wait to put my change in it because it is adorable and I like scream the second I saw it because this was the first thing I saw and I'm super duper duper excited about it. The next two things that came in my Steven box are a little weird because they don't have anything to do with Steven Universe. Um, I got this little Domo which was actually from a Domo blind box which I love Domo. Um, I'm not mad about this at all. I just don't know why it came in a Steven box. But this little Domo, focus. This little Domo came in like a Domo mystery box and there were like some really cute ones and I got the little Target Domo which is super cute and don't, still don't know why it came in the Steven box. <coughs> the next thing really does not make any sense. This came in my Steven Universe box. It's a Doctor Who bracelet that says oh my stars and it has characters on it. I'm sorry don't hate me I don't watch Doctor Who. I don't like it so I don't know this reference but my sister likes Doctor Who so I'm probably gonna send this to her. Now I'm gonna show you everything that came in my horror blind box. The first thing I'm gonna show you is these Friday the 13th playing cards which I am so excited for because I collect playing cards. If you follow my Twitter um, about a year ago I think I posted a picture saying that I had 28 decks of playing cards and since then I think my number has gone up to 34, 35. I'll have to recount but I'm so excited to add these to my collection. The next thing that came in my horror box is actually really cute. It's this little pizza Ghostbusters and it's super cute and I love it. Savvy. Um, I got this little pizza Ghostbusters guy which is super cute and I love him and he's gonna go on my bookshelf with the rest of my figures and I'm just obsessed with it. The next thing I got I'm actually really excited about and honestly I'm 20 years old and I'm in college but I'm taking this to classes with me. I got this Dawn of the Dead lunchbox which is so cool and I'm obsessed with it and I cannot wait to take this to class with me and like carry it around you know like a little kid in middle school. Um, or like elementary school or whatever but like I'm so <laughs> excited for this thing oh my gosh like look at it this is just amazing I just I love it I love it this is the last thing that came in my horror box and I'm actually really excited for it I got this classic Ghostbusters mug and like I just said with the Steven one I love mugs I love them I'm so happy that both of them came with mugs and I mean, no hate to the new Ghostbusters, but classic all the way for me. I'm so excited that it's classic, and I'm so excited to add this to my collection, and I'm just overall extremely happy about this. <laughs> now, because I purchased two of the blind boxes, the two of the big mystery boxes, I ended up getting a mystery shirt box as well for free. This is what came in my shirt box. 
and um, don't hate me because I'm honestly obsessed with it. I got this Minecraft shirt and <laughs> look how stinking cute it is. I love Minecraft and I'm honestly obsessed with this and I can't wait to wear it everywhere. Another thing that I got at San Japan is this bunny, which a lot of you might recognize. It's Usachan from Uno High School Host Club. It's the bu it's the bunny that Honey carries around and it's so stinking cute and so soft and so cuddly and I love it so much. So the last thing I'm showing you that I got from San Japan actually came from one of those, if you've ever been to San Japan, they have a bunch of stands have those um, brown paper bag mystery grab bags and I got one of those and this came in it and it's so cute and I love it. I got this plushie right here. I'm so obsessed with it. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> also in that mystery bag, I ended up getting two keychains. I got a corgi and a little bird. Unfortunately, I couldn't find the corgi, so I think I might have left it in the hotel, which really sucks because it was cute and I wanted to show you guys, but I think I left it in the hotel. Sad story. And the bird I actually gave to Vern. That's it for my San Japan haul. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the stuff I spent lots of money on. And I'm so excited to go back next year. Because uh, we were at the closing ceremony and found out the theme for next year. And oh my gosh. I'm excited. Yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my San Japan haul. Bye.